If I actually had cash, I'd totally do like a raining money intro, like, but I got no cash. If you're looking for an excuse as to why you can't save money, you have come to the right place. Or maybe you're here because you already have your own reasons and you're just looking for solidarity. Or maybe the title of this video was clickbaity enough that it intrigued you and you went ahead and clicked. No matter why you're here, I am about to give you 10 reasons why I can't save money. And these are all reasons that I could actually use. And in some cases, I actually use them. And in typical Wendy Valencia style, these are not going to be your run-of-the-mill reasons. They're going to be totally bizarro reasons that are really only applicable to me, but you and your not saving self are going to get it. You feel me. You understand. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Today I am collabing with Kristen Marie, who I love. We have been YouTube friends for gosh, a couple of years now. And she is awesome. I love following her videos because her life is so different from mine. And I just really enjoy like watching and seeing everything. And she had a rough 2018. Oh my goodness. That job situation. Oh, poor thing. My heart just broke for her a couple of times, but she did get engaged. So yay, that's awesome. So I would love it if you would go check her channel out. I put her along with all the other collaborators down in the description box down below. So if you stop by their channels, leave them a comment, tell them that I sent you. So let's go ahead and jump in. Reason number one, I can't save money. The government keeps shutting down. So yeah, this is annoying and near and dear to my heart. But if you watched my government shutdown video, which I'll link down in the description box and up in the eye in the sky, you know that we actually slashed $7,000 from our budget to survive the most recent government shutdown. Uh, yeah, that's $7,000 that we could be saving. Wait. Did I just say that the government shutdown is forcing me to save money? This video is not going in the direction I thought it was going to go. Reason number two, I can't save money. My husband's a gamer and I can't stop him from buying remotes, headphones, games, fancy electronic guns and world battling equipment that I don't understand. Nintendo Switches and all the other crap that goes into gaming. That was around $800 for us last year and yeah, that was $800 that we could have saved. But see, I told you you found your people. Reason number three that I can't save money because I am secretly in love with Honey Grow. Is it possible to have a girl crush on a salad? Because if it is, I do. <sighs> At $10 a day times 200 days, which is the number of days I work, and I probably would only buy a salad for work every day that I worked. So 200 days, that's $2,000 a year that I could be saving. But I don't actually buy those. I just want to, but I don't. So I guess I'll just keep bringing my made at home salad every day. But the upside is I don't have to pay 50 cents for each additional vegetable I put on my salad. Reason number four, I can't save money because budgeting is hard. Yeah, it is, but it's 100% worth it. And it's really actually not at all that hard because I use Every Dollar, which is the easiest budgeting app in the world, not sponsored. I wish Dave Ramsey would sponsor budgeting videos because, oh my goodness, I just love Every Dollar Plus. I use it every day, not even exaggerating, every single day. Reason number five that I can't save money because I have to get manis and petties once a month. I wish I miss manis and petties, like totally, totally miss them. I used to get them, not even exaggerating, once a week in Mexico because they were so cheap and I miss it. But that $70 manicure I'd be getting once a month would be $840 a year. And I can do my own for practically free. Look, I even did these. Okay, these are totally fake and come from the mega stash of nail stuff that I have accumulated over the years. Reason number six that I can't save money because there's a ton of equipment I need for my YouTube channel. True story. 
the struggle is real, y'all. As I get better with editing and stuff, I want to spend more money. I mean, I really want to because I'm constantly seeing areas that I can improve. But I'll tell you, I'm still filming with my iPhone. One day, I have like an estimated earning in my head. As soon as I earn that amount in one month, I'm buying myself a camera, maybe. And as you'll see from my video coming on Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, you should probably click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon because I can't remember what day it's going live. But in that video, you will actually see the exact amount of money I spent in 2018 on YouTube. Reason number seven, I can't save money. I have a crap ton of debt. Yep, I do. I started with over $200,000 worth of debt, $250,000, $300,000. If you have followed me for a hot second, you will get this inside joke. But if you haven't, I'll link a playlist down in the description box. It's real short. It'll go through the videos that discuss the amount of debt we had as the process has gone along. That number has grown. And I'll put an eye in the sky as well for those of you who have access to the eye in the sky. This is real life, folks. And math and I, not friends. But we have actually paid $188,000 worth of debt off in the last 34 months. And it'd be more if the government would open back up. And I hope by the time you see this, the government's back open because I'm getting annoyed. But I'm not bitter. A little. Just a little. Reason number eight that I can't save money. I like to give. Giving's an actual thing in the Valencia household. And you're going to see on Thursday, Thursday, I'm pretty sure it's Thursday, that we are going to start disclosing how much we're giving every month. And I talk about the exact amount that we gave in 2018. So you have got to check that out. So we could actually stop giving and then just save that money. But we're not going to stop giving because we won't. We just won't. Period. Not negotiable. Reason number nine, I can't save money because of Amazon. Enough said. In 2019, we are tightening it up to meet some major, major financial goals. So we are going to kill it. And Amazon, I'm going to have to say bye for a little while. It makes me a little sad, kind of dying on the inside a little bit. My heart is just breaking. But we're going to make it. We'll be back. And the last and final reason, number 10, that I can't save money because I don't want to. So this one's actually probably the most honest of all the reasons and not a reason I actually use because I would love to be able to save money. But there's no real valid argument for because I don't want to other than you need to. But if you are using this one as an excuse, then stop whining because you can't do anything because, you know, you could be saving. But for us, we're not saving, not because we don't want to. We're saving because our goal right now is to pay off as much debt as we can. So stick around and see how we do this year. I'm super excited. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.